what's your best piece of advice for women in the business? This is something that we really like to highlight. Well, all I can say is um, don't, don't compare yourself to anybody else. And I think a lot of times women get, get kind of, they get very pigeonholed and um, I just, and just try to be friends with other women in the business. Cause I think some women are very competitive and they want to know when you got that audition or whatever. And it's like, have a little understanding and know that there's enough for everybody. And that, um, that really the, the universe is your employer, like not even the director or the producer. It's like, so if you don't get something, don't worry about it. And just, you know, just keep showing up. I think that that's so much of it for me. And I'm a little older, so I, you know, I feel like there was some major judgment about women in comedy um, 20 years ago, 25 years ago, um, 30 years ago, for sure. And, you know, I think just, I think the, the best thing I can say for myself is that I've just been tenacious. I just pleasantly persistent, pleasantly persistent, and don't underestimate your ability. Uh, I think that goes for everybody. Are there any yeah. additional maybe pieces of advice? Try to do as much as you can to protect your dreams. Because I think sometimes people really, family members, they, they might think they're doing you a favor by being critical or, or saying that it sounds like you're crazy for wanting what you want or you'll never, or how dare you, or you know why do you think you can do that? And it, it may come from a place of love, but it just may come from a place of understanding. So just be careful. Like, don't pick the phone up from a family member when you're going, right before you go into an audition. Just wait, they can wait. Or don't text back. Don't, you know, just don't, don't even read if you, whatever. Just don't read your text before if it, if it makes you feel like crap. Just, um, I think that whatever you can do to honor your dreams, and, and that also might mean going to therapy or something that like raises your vibration so that you keep showing up and keep working harder all the time. I don't think there's ever a place where you're like, I got it. I'm done. I, I know everything there is. You know, I think, you know, just, I, I, for one, feel like it's really important to continue to be challenged, you know, and, and that if you can rise to the occasion, how good that feels and to not put yourself in, in a, in a pigeonhole, you know, no, that's so it is. It's very important. It's important to point out because one of the biggest problems with entertainment is allowing other people to affect your performance. Yeah. And, and family and close people, they're going to greatly affect you. That's when that they're the ones who influence you the most. It's the true. People you're closest and, and, with. And even if they don't mean to hinder, if you know that it gets like something gets in your head and it's going to interfere or it's going to create some anxiety when you need to be cool and calm because you have something big coming up or you're about to go on stage or whatever it is. It's like the, the, the art is the most important thing that day, that moment. And um, you know, you got to really pick your battles and, and, and I'll, you know, so just do, do them a favor. I mean, my family didn't understand, really at all until even when the office first started, you know, they would get the show three hours before me because they were in Philadelphia and they'd be like, I thought you said you were going to do this. And then you didn't, it got, there was nothing. You barely talked. And I'm like, Oh my God. Then I'm like, no calls before I see the episode. Like we'll talk tomorrow. You know, it's fine. Cause I don't even know what was cut sometimes. And I'd get nervous. Like, Oh my God, my thing got cut. Like maybe I'm going to get fired. Like, I don't know. Or some of it was like, you barely talked or, um, how come you were, you're not the star, you know, you're not, I'm like, Oh my God, I can't win. So you just have to be, and, and it, I don't think it comes out of malice. I think it just comes out of like sort of no filter, a lot of thoughts, a lot of comparing. So, you know, just be careful, be careful out there. Yeah. I mean, you sacrifice a lot as an entertainer to begin with. Yes. You don't have to sacrifice everything, which is your personal well being. Right. Right. Um, and the other advice I have too, is that, Having to work a second job while you follow your dreams is not a punishment. It's not. It's usually how it works for most people. If you're lucky enough to only have one job that pays you, that's what you love, good for you. But that's a very rare thing. And uh, you cannot uh, allow it to get to you or, or, or you know, the outs it doesn't matter what it looks like to other people. What does it feel like? If, you know, working two other jobs that you're making good money, you can relax when you go into an audition it's worth it as opposed to being like desperate and mad and, and, you know, where's mine and 
God forgot my address and all that pity stuff because it's easy to feel like a victim in this business and it doesn't really serve you to continue that feeling.